Well, welcome back to my channel and captivating of the monk and the grapes. Um, this is continuation of what I was doing yesterday. And there are some subtleties back here. So this is um, a, a mixture of extreme shadow and black. So it became, much, because this side was much, much darker. But there's a subtlety here that's just a shift off. So adding that in. How's everybody doing? And as I've been uncovering some of the twists and turns, because this picture has got a lot more going on in the background than it initially looked like. You know, it's always a timeless painting of doing still life. <clears throat> My voice is really deep today. Anyhow, normally when it's deep, my thyroid is acting up. And then yesterday I learned some patience and gratitude around some of this they've been working on and stuff and realized that the process is taking me a whole lot longer than I was expecting. I found out yesterday when I donated um, some money to um, the youth uh, organization down in Phoenix that they're for um, all the cyber bullying that's going on and stuff. There's a lot more suicide now between with kids and stuff. But she was telling me there is an art show that's gone it's down in the Phoenix area. So I'm gonna check that out. And see if I can register to be an artist down there. Something a little bit more local and not one of the bigger art shows that I thought I was expecting. I spent a, a lot of money at one of the first big art shows in July of last year. Even though I was one of the people that was one of the top actual sellers at the show. I didn't make back. I was expecting, you know, to do a lot more in sales by the way they were talking, but it's not the case. So I'm using an extreme shadow here to create this shift in the wall back here. It's not as dark. They're working at the park across the street. I can hear a humming, but you guys probably don't hear it. They knocked on the door and said, hey, we're going to turn off your water to your house for a bit because you're trying to fix the kids nowadays have no consequences so they destroy a lot of the park we have more graffiti and kids breaking the water fountain they put in there for the kids and stuff but they just break it they just tear shit apart and We've got more problems with graffiti than we've ever had before. Unfortunately, they seem to put up a new center down the street and it just seemed to bring in the, a group of people that are just constantly doing some sort of
damage, which kind of sucks. I wasn't like that before. But what I'm doing is, even though it's a subtlety, you can still see that there is a, a line here. And then this part is, even though it's still black back there, it's just a subtle difference. So I'll take and take this color <clears throat> and mix it with another color, still make it dark and have it subtle. creating the backdrop you know I've been pondering all the stuff that's been kind of going on and not going on in the art industry and stuff and just what it takes nowadays to, you know, to be seen and if you're, because so many of the art galleries are changing and so much of them, they take so much money. By the time you're done with this fee and that fee and everything else, you're not even making 20% nowadays. And that just seems kind of lopsided. <laughs> So I'm going to mix in a little bit of moderate shadow, but just a little to create that shift. Most of the time people have been um, Insta doing the, uh, what do you call it, sending me messages for these paintings and stuff on uh, Messenger and um, things like that so they, they can purchase them. I don't even get them up onto the website. So if you guys want these, this painting or whatever, because it matches something, creates a little serenity in the house. I've got beautiful statues everywhere myself. One of the biggest things right now has been just uh, patience. And I've been working on this process for four years. I've run into a lot of um, people that have taken my money and not helped me with anything that they stated that they were going to do. One was a program that stated they had everything and stuff, but it was a, they really wanted you to purchase the done done it solution. So you just pay them $10,000. Of course, by the time you're done with making all the mistakes, 
You could have paid $10,000 and been done with it, but you don't realize it at the time. And then I paid another person who told me that he was he was a Facebook expert, which I had paid for his class and stuff. And then as I changed over and stuff, and he said that he could help me with the YouTube, but that was not true. And every time we scheduled something that didn't ever it never worked out it was always this bizarre it's always it's been a very and I'm so like um, I'm so cautious now that it's like you know it's awful <laughs> it's like I've paid you know five thousand to one guy and six thousand to another and it's and then when you find out that they don't really have much more information, you know, and then it just throws you off because all you're doing is not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So, lesson learned. I'm learning how to use the cameras and not even worrying about having the takes and doing any of the video editing. It's just doing it and learning and praying that you guys love what I'm doing and know that, you know, that everything's going to be totally okay. And lately I've been doing a reading and see what the energy is of the day. So let me quickly do that. So this is the second day of the monk. Let's see what the energy is. And I like to use um, the Wisdom Oracle through Colette. Colette is a really powerful um, woman. And she's gone through some pretty intense stuff. You know, as I start to look at this, I always reminds me of the, the monk has kind of an energy of, the, of abundance and that purity of of love of what they're studying and because I've done a lot of classes and uh, and all of that it's interesting I was thinking about certain things the other day and everybody's using this word imposter syndrome and I couldn't figure out and I'm like yeah I've got I've got all my licenses to do coaching and you know and all that and did years of it and the reasons why they're coming up with imposter syndrome everywhere is because all right the card I pulled is to be fair number 38 this one has an owl on top of her head she's got this beautiful dress she's kind of this Victorian person with this dress but she's got also um, within the dresses a, um, a face kind of like a renaissance face coming through and then you have the owl on top of her head so the balance justice and to consider options mutual benefits and the laws of cause and effect and I guess there's been a lot of cause and effect as I was just talking to you because of all the things that I've gone through in these last four years and people <laughs> not doing what they were supposed to help me with so the life is offering, offering me those experiences are challenging. Yeah, that's for sure. I was just saying that. And experiences are nourishing too. Yet over time, they can strike a balance, which is great, to move the, from the being of stasis, from doing to discovering, which is basically what I've been doing. So letting go of the, and being again, and life is a pendulum that is swinging between all states. And you'll be oscillating back and forth between doing and being and that's basically what I've been doing so I've been doing the paintings step by step kind of showing a little bit of differences and stuff I'll be working on the um, the monk and have all the colors mixed out on that particular one and you'll always be doing this in your life I don't you've been doing it since you were a little kid it's just it's more noticeable as we get as adults because we want a different type of perfection from ourselves 
versus allowing the 16 year old that wants to just, you know, rip into shit and get it done. And so remember that um, they have their place, accept them without a judgment and you'll be able to see the universal adjust and perfect balance. You will reap what you sow for every cause. There's always been an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed. If it's in a protection, it was sort of upside down. There's been a sense of injustice and inequality in the part of your life and they have to do to define your experiences. And, and in this time when you may observe this injustice, because I was just saying that I kind of felt like I spent a lot of time and money on a bunch of people and I felt there's a sense of injustice and not to be fair with it. And because it's been uh, rightly and fairly redressed, I kind of feel, feel like that in some ways, perhaps coming into a rescue or someone else and they call your, you to answer a personal insight, which people do because I was a spiritual coach for 20 years and people still call me asking me for um, advice and things. So, you know, this channel can maybe even turn into something like that later on down the line. Amazed at our sense of power and surging through, you can stand up for yourself and others, a card indicating is also the great um, advocate for others who are less fortunate, you choose to cause and commit to, and because of that, you can make a difference. One of the things that is certain is fairness is your intention, and it always has been. The situation will be resolved at the highest levels, which is what I have to do, have done. I have had to turn this over to the acts of kindness, empathy, and courage, because I have paid so many people a lot of money to do a lot of different things and stuff and basically you know they're like yeah this is my life's work and I showed you everything that I can but not really <clears throat> and then you find out later that you actually probably knew more I mean the one guy knew Facebook but he I had hired him as somebody that can help me with YouTube because he was up on YouTube and he said yeah I can help you out you know this is my life's work and everything else but basically when I called him on it after just a few months I said you know I you don't seem to be doing anything you're, you're acting like you're gonna help me be able to get this up and going on YouTube and everything you haven't even you've gone back into Facebook and forced me on that platform after I had been badly hacked and all of my um, business for my coaching business which created me to you know kind of walk away because you put so much time and energy into Facebook and I didn't want to put that all that time and energy back into that platform and it you know almost forced nowadays as a business person to do it and I know that some people probably get their channels, um, but I just, again, it's been happening so frequently. <clears throat> Where you hear people that have got 7,000 followers and stuff. I had, you know, a huge amount, but I had like 7,000 people that followed me, and now I've had to rebuild. That's why everything is so low again had to rebuild everything and at that point I was like you know do I still want to do just trying to get you guys to know why things are so low sometimes because you're having to rebuild stuff that people have walked away and you've taken a long time because you've Almost all of the stuff that you get from Facebook nowadays on the back side stating that you're in violation of their rules and everything is all hacked stuff. So you're not safe when you're thinking that you're trying to comply to something with Facebook and then you find out they just basically hacked your account and they stole a ton of money out of my account. You know, they did a lot of stuff. So makes you rethink about all of your priorities and who you want to be giving your money to and all these corporates, you know. 
you're handing your life over to that guy's business. He doesn't have any special team to handle stuff that's been stolen like that. Nothing. It's just like there's nothing there for you to contact. There's nobody. There's no team that helps out the business owner that's been hacked. And I was listening to um, a lady. I think she's in Louisiana. Um, and she does um, something, tips and tricks and stuff. And she had like 7 million people following and everything else. And it's a huge aspect of her business. And they hacked it. And she hasn't been get a hold of Facebook. So... When you start to see the unfairness, but your life is tied into these corporations and stuff from Etsy to the YouTube channel, you start to wonder, you know, you're basing your energy and everything on a platform, but there's, you know, you can go. And that's sort of the weirdness of what's been going on. You're, you're doing the best you can and... You're doing all this really cool stuff to get your channel up and going and you put a lot of time and energy into it for somebody to just waltz right in and there's and they're because they're so much better like you see those India situations nowadays where they're breaking into people's computer and now you got guys that are stealing stuff back from these guys because they don't care India understands karma, but they they've changed just enough where they don't care. There's guys driving around in Bentleys out there. Why they're stealing from Americans that can barely afford a you know a, a Chevy, you know a, you know a small vehicle, and they're driving around in Bentleys because there's. They know how to work the, the computers to steal. That's kind of an injustice feeling to me. And that's basically kind of what's in my house. This month is my first house is against the Libra side of things. And that's all about justice or lack of justice. So I haven't really talked too much about the art today, but that's just more of the moral and the wisdom of somebody that's been on the planet for a little bit and has paid attention to this, the stuff that's going on. But that's how I was able to talk with the girl because we're in a society now where cyberbullying is something that we didn't grow up with. And... Everybody's kind of, you know, having to figure out how to kind of navigate through all these, um, the energies of the Nile and stuff. So, unfortunately, I bet you you've had all, a lot of you probably been somehow hacked or had your stuff taken and it makes you much more cautious about, you know, who you're going to work with and who you want your money to go to. And, you know, we had gotten emails. Zuckerberg was going to be doing something on the computer and stuff. So everything is going to go through. And that's the reason why everybody thought that that, that Facebook got hacked again. No, he, he knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. And he wasn't hacked. But everybody was throwing that up onto the Internet. That's what I'm working on.
<clears throat> well, thanks for stopping by today. I know that I've probably gone way over my time. Be sure to um, like and um, comment on the underneath and stuff. I'll be able to start engaging more when people are um, listening more and more and wanting to, to learn something. Right now, I did some subtleties across the page, working on the neck area here. He's got a um, his clothing starts from here, so this must be kind of the background or something else. There seems to be something back there. <clears throat> it looks just darkness, so I'm gonna just create that. But that area right in here. And being left-handed, I normally like to start from the right side of the painting because inevitably I stick my hand in there. All right, guys, thank you again for staying tuned for more updates and everything. I know this is going somewhere. I just don't know fully yet because it's still kind of a new channel. And I do appreciate your support and being part of my community and the community of art and everything. And I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Don't forget um, to, you know, share if you want. You can use... Um, and send this over to people that are into art and things like that. Can't and um, all of those wonderful things that comes along with watching a, a YouTube video and stuff. Uncovering the mysteries of the monk and the grapes, part two. Again, thank you for your support, and have a great afternoon, guys. Bye.